Oh, my mic wasn't on. Good morning, <laughs> everybody. Welcome to Upland Tips with the Ninjas. Kale, how you doing? Hey, doing great. Uh, and uh, well, this was going to come out. On, yeah, yeah, this is going to come out on Tuesday. But um, you know, over the weekend, we were down in uh, over in Charlotte and got to do some training and some testings, and uh, it was a great weekend. Yeah, it's always awesome when you guys uh, come to town. Loved getting together with you guys. Yeah, we did. I did a ton of rolling, and uh, I'm super sore today. So <laughs> I'm just feeling it, just watching you. <laughs> yeah, but we're we're good. We're good. All right. All right, what are we jumping into today? Yeah, so you know we've had um, I've had some questions over the last week. Actually, the last couple of weeks, I keep hearing the the kind of the same theme. Um, people keep asking, you know, why why is Upland play to earn? They just don't understand it, and they said we can't can't earn anything from it. It's just a game. So I thought, um, you know, I know we do a ton of competitions just within our discord alone, um, where you can earn upix for doing nothing. You know, you just enter the contest and, uh, sometimes it's rumbles. Sometimes it's the UFC, uh, pickums. And it just seems like there's so many amazing ways to earn within Upland and play. Um, so what are your thoughts on that? Uh, yeah, there's tons of, tons of ways to earn. And one, I mean, you know, buying properties and getting the, uh, dividends from those. That's, that's one way. Um, the other way is actually getting involved in communities. Um, I know that there is a player, I don't know the name of the player, but I think you put either $0 or $5 into the game. And I know his account is worth well over, uh, a million up now off of, um, uh, you know, just getting involved with the communities and, and, you know, getting, it's taken time. It didn't happen overnight. Uh, but, you know, was able to get his account well over a million. So getting, getting involved in communities can be a great way uh, to earn some Upix, earn properties, earn prizes. And then it, it's your asset to do with what you want. You can, you can flip those, you can sell them, you can keep them, you can, uh, you know, do whatever, you know, reinvest, you know, so you can do whatever you like, um, whatever strategy fits you best. Uh, so one way that we, in our community and uh, the Hyde Park Ninjas, we have a couple ways for you guys to earn. Uh, we've been doing rumbles, uh, which are these little um, uh, RGN um, little battles that are a lot of fun. We run just about every day. We're running rumbles. Uh, we actually did one this morning and we're going to hand out some upics. I was going to do that live there. Got my oh, screen. Cool. Let me see pull. if I could pull that up. Um, and so let me search the player. The person that won today was Boy Gern. Oh, is that the Rumble? Yeah. I missed that one. Oh, did you miss it this morning? Yeah, I was in the shower. So Boy Dern uh, won a thousand epics. Oh, hang on. This is important. Okay, so Boydern just kind of joined our community. Looks like his residence is in Portage Park, hmm. uh, which is great. I got some properties over big there. Big community out there, yeah, I do too. Um, now, if one benefit for having your address in Hyde Park is we actually will take care of the fees whenever you win something, um, and so we'll, uh, if your address is is not in Hyde Park then we'll just send a thousand epics and this the fees will be you know we each have to pay five percent um so for example right here um let's say boy Dern was in hyde park i would actually have to pay i forget the number oh not that many oh that was a big rumble <laughs> <laughs> it's three um 53. so if i send a thousand fifty three epics it's actually going to cost me 1,105 epics, but Boy Dern will receive 1,000 epics. Um, so if if your residence is in Hyde Park, you would actually receive the full 1,000 epics. Um, and then if not, which, you know, no worries, it's up to you or where you go. Uh, but I'll send you 1,000 epics, but now we split the fees. So Boy Dern will, will receive uh, 950 epics. I have to pay 1,050. Um, and so I'll send that to him now and boom, 
There we go. So Boydern, uh, it was a free rumble. All he had to do was click an emoji and he gets a thousand epics. Yeah, that's awesome. So just another perk, you know, to being a Hyde Park Ninja and being in the community. So, you know, there's all different kinds of ways you could earn and maybe earn a little bit more. So, uh, and that's, a, you know, it's a great point you brought up just a minute ago too, with um, the, the person, I think we met him in Vegas, or I think he was in Vegas. So he started the game with nothing. And, you know, he's got his portfolio up to a million epics, which is valued at like a thousand USD, uh, if you were to equate it to USD. And, um, you know, I can't remember the last time I've ever bought a game for myself um, or for my son, you know, for like Xbox. You know, we used to play a lot of hockey and different stuff. And you spend like 70, 80 bucks on those games. And not once did I win anything back off of them, you know. So once that 80 bucks is gone, it's gone. You know, no matter how good you get at beating the computer players or your opponents, you can never win anything back. And that's one thing I really loved about Upland. It's it's like Monopoly, and I played a lot of Monopoly as a kid and loved it. And um, kind of ties into real life with property selling. And you could earn interest, and, and you could resell it too. And, I mean, you could earn a little bit for playing that game. So I just – I think it's a lot of fun. And again, yep. it is a game. So just the point yep. that you could win by playing a game and having fun. And I think, you know, everybody's missing the big picture too with the layer two and what's going to come out of that. So this is just kind of the, the beginning in the game part of it. Yeah. So get out there guys, uh, uh, join communities, get in there, be involved and, um, yeah, win some prizes, win some epics. Uh, uh I know we give away block explorers and properties and cars and, all kinds of stuff. So, Yeah. And I think um, being a game too, a lot of this, you know, so much of it is experimental as it's starting out to build for the future. And anytime you're building anything, there's so much trial and error, you know? Yeah. It's no yeah, different absolutely. with what we do in real life with martial arts. You know, how many things have we thrown up on the wall to see if it worked over the years? And then you, you know, you kind of tweak and perfect it and, um, you know, it just grows from there. Cause I know what's the big thing that just came out, uh, totem, Totem and yeah, um, the totems came out to earn protem, yeah. um, and uh, I got to do some more research on that. Honestly, that uh, there's uh, a lot to it, and yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it's going to be cool. Definitely going to try and get involved with it. Uh, but I, again, I got to learn some more about it before we talk about it. So yeah, definitely, there's a lot to it. It looks like, um, but it's funny. A lot of that's going to be experimental too, right? Yeah, it's going to be yeah. for stem down the road. And so there's there's going to be a lot to learn on that, I'm sure. Absolutely. Well, I think we also wanted to show um, how to kind of get a, a build going today. Um, and w so what I wanted to show first was this is Upix world, Upix dot world. Oh, so such um, a platform. Yeah, it's been working really well. And I. Um, so we, I was looking at it today, and you can go right here. You know, so first of all, I went to Los Angeles, the city, Hyde Park, the neighborhood. Tells you the number of properties, uh, percent minted out, completed buildings, 681. There's 100 buildings in, under construction. That's great. Um, so right here, you can look at top owners by property count. Um, building owners, uh, uh, spark investors. And so what I was looking at today was the building completed by type. Um, and so we can see we have 260 townhouses, 222 small townhouses, uh, 64 micros, um, which is enough. By the way, if you're yeah, watching, no more of those. <laughs> we don't need too many more micros. We're, we're good. I mean, we need some for the neighborhood ratings, but um, there's good. a lot of big, there's a lot of big properties in Hyde Park. So we really want to utilize the, the larger properties, the best that we can. Uh, ranch houses, 47 apartment buildings, 40. Those are all good numbers. We're, we're continuing to build those 28 sheiks. Um, nine luxury moderns which is i'm really happy with we got that up from i think two a few months ago um so what i see down here is that we only have five luxury ranches um so that's what we're going to build today we're going to get one of those started and uh and 
try to bump up that number. And it's just going to help the neighborhood ratings um, and add more, you know, different types of structures to uh, Hyde Park. How many small so, factories do we have? I saw that number is low. There's five. Um, you know, guys, if you're putting factories out there, you, you have to, you got to have a plan. Um, it takes a lot of work to run a factory. You got to have 3D artists to, to uh, if you don't have the skills yourself, uh, to produce the items. And then you have to have a lot of spark, a lot of spark, which is a big investment um, in order to run long the factory. It time to build too. A, a long time to build. A lot of sp your your spark is going to be tied up manufacturing the items. So there's a lot of things to consider um, when you're putting up small factories. So I'd say that's we definitely have enough there. And then um, so anyway, just something to think about with the with the factories. I'm going to switch over to Upland. All right, so I think I've I've got this property. That is a good fit right here for a luxury ranch. Oh, nice. So I've pulled 0.5 spark off of my small little build to put one up here. Actually, I need to see the address. Okay, here's another good point. The address is 9th Avenue. So, yeah, I want to make sure I'm putting the, the door, the front of the house, the right direction. Um, I mean, you probably could go either way, but the address is 9th Avenue. So, I'm going to put the door facing 9th Avenue right here. So, just some little things to check. You know, we talked about building structures backwards and things like that. So, What's the uh, address on that one next to you? Because I noticed that apartment there is on an angle. So, they're doing like a corner entrance. Yeah, uh, that's uh, it looks like that's uh, kinder. Yeah, kinder. yeah. Um, yeah, he corrected me last time. Um, but yeah, that uh, uh, that's pretty cool. I th that's fine. I mean, you're on yeah, a, corner it's a corner lot. lot. Yeah, it's a corner lot. That that's totally fine. Um, like I said, if there was a door facing this way, that would be totally fine too. I just, I just, uh, I guess in particular with where I face the door, but it's not that big a deal. The only thing we don't want is the door facing this way. Uh, you know, up north here or to Backwards, the back end of these properties. So, yeah, so just, you know, just be careful there. Um, so go to manage, go to build. We're going to select, so not the luxury modern, but we're going to select a luxury ranch um, right here. Oh, no. Why is it saying that? Let me try to refresh. Refresh, yeah. Don't know why that happened. All right. Let's get back here. Uh, where was I? Ninth Street. Yeah. Is it this one? No. Had it all planned out. Uh, was it uh, on 52nd Street, somewhere down there? Or was it above? Goodness. All right. I was prepared and ready. All right, there's 9th. Like or something, 9th Street. Let me just follow 9th down. Aha. There it is. 57th, not 2. Okay. <clears throat> gotcha. Okay, manage. Let's do this. Take 2. Luxury Ranch. All right, perfect. Okay, so I can see right here is Ninth Avenue on this side. So I want to turn the structure so that the front is facing Ninth. From here, I like to get down. First, I'll kind of check here and I can use the grid right here and the grid behind it to kind of make sure it's square. Then I'll zoom out, get a top view. So, ooh, I was crooked. That looks pretty, that looks pretty good. That looks crooked. That looks decent. 
That looks crooked. All right, I think that's the best I can get right there. Yeah. Um, I kind of like it centered. Because you could move it. Uh, you know, some people on a bigger backyard or whatever. I kind of like it right in the center, actually. You got that side pulling garage off this, of 57th Street there. Oh, there nice. you go. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Or a guest house, however. I don't Ooh. know what that is. Oh, shoot. She shed. Right. <laughs> um, also, I can see like right here. So just to see if it's even, I got one, one, two, three and a three and a half squares on this side. Uh, one, two. All right. So if I scooch it over a little, yeah. that would be a little better centered. All right. There's that. Colors. Let's go with some Hyde Park colors. A little bit of gray. Uh, our our logo is... Hmm, I thought there was a more yellowish color. There is in go, one of the selections. I don't remember which one. Let me go back. Might have been the previous one. Hmm. Yeah, I went back. Eh. Okay, well, maybe that one. Are the colors different on all the models too, or are they the same? That's actually a good question. I'm not sure. All right, there we go. Um, there, We don't have any color uh, specifics in Hyde Park. Uh, you guys can, can do whatever you want, be creative. Um, yeah, that's okay. It's not my favorite, but we'll so nice go with pool it. Pool backyard. Eventually, be able <laughs> to put a pool back there, maybe. Yeah, that'd be that'd be cool. Um, let's see. I think we need a little darker. Something a little darker right there. Yeah, I don't like that. No, too light. I'm gonna go with this dark right here. All right, it's pretty light colored. I, I think I'll go with that today. So you check it one more time. Make sure everything looks good. I got 0.5 spark on there. Um, 250 days with uh, 0.5 spark. Um, uh, obviously, I'll get some more spark on there later and get that done in probably about two weeks. Um after my small build finishes in a few days. So start construction. Well, that's great. So that'll help our community stats too, once that is built for that category. Yeah. Um, so there's a nice property with, with the luxury ranch, pretty centered, looking good. Um, that'll help out the neighborhood. So you guys just take that into consideration and whenever you're building and, um, just kind of make sure everything looks looks good. Take your time with it. Don't rush. Um, and there we go. That's perfect. Now you can invite the family over to visit. <laughs> the ones the ones you don't want to stay with you, send them over to Kinders. You can, you can put them. Up <laughs> yeah, they can stay across the street <laughs> if it's the the family uh, that you don't want staying in your house. <laughs> uh, that's funny. All right. Well, All right, um, so it's a build. Uh, I'm trying to think. Um, oh, go back into. Can you go back into Upland again if you have it up still? Sure can. Someone was asking about the um, how you can tell what collections properties are in as well. So if you go into a oh. property, let me let me um, do like a random one. Uh, let me go to like Venice over here. My computer is like being weird today. It's not showing me the lines. Um, pretty sure this is in Venice. All right, so you can go to a property, click more, and if you click on the numbers right here, it's actually going to tell you what um, collections that you can put this property in. So you can put it in the newbie. Los Angeles, Venice, or City Pro. And obviously these top two ones is what you want. 
uh, in so that you can get the most earnings from that from that property. So um, this property earns, let's see, that's probably a 0.2 boost. So this property probably earns around uh, 550 to 600 UPEX uh, a month if I did not have any collection, just an estimation. And we're optimizing this property by placing it in this Venice, Venice collection right here. So, um, so yeah, that's the best way to figure out what, what collection the property is in. I did that in Tokyo um, because... There was actually like a, a super rare. Some people got some really lucky, really good properties in Tokyo. And I had my one in Shibuya because there was a uh, like an ultra rare or rare or something like that with the Shibuya stuff. Mm. Um, and I was hoping to get it, but I, I did not. So um, actually, well, again, for some reason, my upland is not if you hit that button on the right side the one that looks like a water drop well so i, I was and it wasn't working but now it is there it Had to yeah, refresh. usually if you click on it a second time sometimes you got to go in and out glitching was it someone okay so right here and i actually i'm not a hundred percent sure but i'm i'm fairly certain i had a chance to mint in here um, and uh, I, I did and, too, because I was around that McDonald's, Starbucks area there. Yep, yep. Who owns those? Um, did Morchie's get one of those? Uh, I know she had a Starbucks, but no, not that one. I don't know any of. No, I don't recognize any of those names actually. Oh, I, I know, I know that player. Not very. Oh, okay, that one I've seen before. Well, but man, these people got some. Okay mental uh they're everywhere but yeah so anyway so people got some really good properties in here um which is which is great great for them and that's the fun of upland and that dozenga that neighborhood that you just passed i think it was dozenga oh right here Dogenzaga. Yep. yeah i got yep. i have one prop in there oh the red that's a red right it is yeah so i've got one in there well, you wanted to go see your cheapest markup? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see if Tokyo's in there. Let's go back to Upix World. All right, Tokyo's in there. You want to look at Upix or Cash? Uh, check out check out the Upix first. Oh, you know what? I'm in stats. Hmm. Um. Search property. So we go to Tokyo. There. There. We want for sale. Uh, no structures. Uh, what'd you say, Upix first? Yeah, let's check out Upix. And submit. Oh, I forgot to do sort by. Uh, we want, what do you want, markup? Yeah, let's go markup. All right, so your best markup is 231%. So guys, if you mint it in there, you're you're over doubling up on your Upix immediately oh, yeah. um, on your floor price. So uh, you got 569,000 Upix laying around? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Not anymore, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Not after Tokyo. Um, hmm. Well, let's see like sale price. So let's see like what the cheapest you could actually just get in there. 240,000 Upix. Okay. Uh, it's actually not a 
terrible markup from the floor. It's 250% markup. Yeah. So if you um, already had two in there and you could pick up that last one to fill that collection, it's worth it. That's yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's still up there, but I would, if I already had one in there, I, I would probably do that or reach out to the player and, uh, through chat or send an offer, mm -hmm. you know, maybe have a conversation. Maybe, you know, I've done some, some property deals where like, Hey, I'll give you, okay, it's 240,000 Upix, but Hey, I'll give you 200,000 Upix and this block explorer. Right. Right. So you can reach out and message and maybe work out a deal with, with them and, um, uh, so that's just different ways to, to do the game. Let's see what your, um, and I think for that, that, um, that particular collection, I want to say it pays out like 13,000 or 16,000 Upix just for, uh, getting the collection and mm. then it's over two, it's two point something for the collection, I believe for the boosted earnings. Oh yeah. So, so it's, it's almost double. like, min it's almost like minting. Like if yeah. you buy it at 200 and you know, 200 and some odd percent, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's almost like minting it. Um, yep. so you're not, you're not getting the great boost, but you're getting the great boost on the other property. That exactly. Yeah. Uh, the cash floor, man, it, it's pricey. It's $150, but it's 104% markup. That's actually a pretty good deal, but, so um, there's one for 125 too. Um, so I did, yeah, I did markup. So 104% is your best markup. Oh, That'll probably, yeah. That'll probably sell. Um, that's, that's, that's definitely going to sell your, your cheapest to get in there is 125. Yeah. That's the one. Okay. Um, at 115% markup. That's actually a pretty good deal that's as well. Not too so bad, yeah. I could see those two properties selling actually. Yeah. Uh, I need those two actually to fill my yeah. collection. Well, we got a little distracted there. Um, <laughs> But uh, hopefully it helps you guys just kind of see how we look at properties and look at deals and get those collections filled up and optimize the earnings. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Do your research. Use that Upix world. I mean, it works. That's such a great tool. I mean, I remember back when we were buying stuff randomly, you know, we were going through and just uh, searching every property. It's so much easier to break down the data, look at the stats. Um, I really like the way that you were able to go through Upix World today and kind of pinpoint the different type of builds too. I uh, think mm -hmm. that was really cool. And, um, you know, it gives us a good option to see what do we need to build more of? You know, yep. what do we have enough of? So it looks like we've actually got more of the larger townhouses than we do the small, which is really good. Mm -hmm. And then um, I think we're, how many micro houses we were at? 64, I believe. Yeah, so we probably don't need any more of those. So we'll start working on building some of the bigger builds. We've got 40, I think it was 40 apartments. So that's amazing. We'll keep that number growing. And I know we've got a couple under construction right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's awesome. And I know the modern uh, luxuries, the, those bigger houses, you got to have the right size a lot. So if you have a really good lot for a, a structure like that, definitely build a better structure. Don't get a plot like that and then build a micro house or something silly where it's not going to maximize the um, UP squared. And if you, if you don't have the spark to, to do it, um, that's what the community is for. Yep, we out. will, we will help you build it. Um, and so if you get it started or if you want to sell the property at a good price, you know, we'll, we'll uh, you know, could work out something, but, um, but yeah, that's, that's what the community is there for. And, and we, we've already built, uh, geez, hundreds of structures uh, through the community in the last, um, last year or so. So yeah, reach, reach out. Yeah, definitely. It helps the whole community to grow. And then, uh, you know, it just helps the community to be more, um, profitable too. Absolutely. Better, better place to be. So yeah, I think well, that's about that... it for this morning. Um, again, this will come out on what Tuesday. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, so, so got, uh, excited about football, football starting back. Uh, yeah, actually, um, I'd, uh, see if my Packers can do anything this year. We'll, we'll see what they can do. Yeah, You're so a, uh, Aaron Rodgers play yesterday. I saw him play a little bit. Oh, where did they transfer him to? Uh, the jets. That's right. Yeah. That's so he's right. in our division this year. Um, Man, everybody is really hyping the Jets up this year. They had a pretty decent team last year, I guess. Now they've mm -hmm. got Rodgers there, and um, I'm not even sure who the backup is. 
but he's a know. you know a pretty well seasoned quarterback. Yep. So he'll be good to train a future quarterback for them, I guess. Um, yeah. And you're a Buffalo Bills fan, right? Yes. Yep. Fan All of right. Good so... years and our bad years, and lots of drama <laughs> to go along with it. So. Well, well, hey, drop in the chat uh, your NFL team, and uh, actually tune in um, to our live streams. We might have some information on some NFL stuff coming out soon. Oh yeah, yeah. I think we're going to have a cool interview with someone too. So. Um, we'll yep. get more details on that this week coming up. So, all right. Awesome. Well, I think that's going to take us out of here today. And um, we will look forward to kicking it with you guys on the morning, the morning show as well. All right, guys. I think that's a wrap. All right. Have a great weekend and a great week. See you guys.